Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to Adventure Belt. My name is Kelly. I'm Trevor. Hey, today we are bringing you from Overland Expo West some of the very, very best innovative technology coming out of the Overland world. And it's close to Skynet. Almost, nearly. <laughs> Stay tuned. <laughs> All right, guys, I'm here at Any Gravity Batteries, and I'm talking to Scott, and Scott is gonna tell us all about new batteries, like new lithium battery technology. So what we have is we have a new restart technology that is on our automotive batteries. And what that does is that allows the battery to retain a certain amount of reserve capacity so that in the event that you discharge your battery, say you left your lights on or something like that, you can actually press a button, a key fob, a wireless key fob, and actuate that reserve capacity of battery and start your car without any jump starter needed or any uh, assistance from AAA or uh, somebody out in the field. Excellent. And, and what percentage of that battery is on reserve? It's about 15%, and that gives you enough energy to start your car probably about four or five times. That's awesome. Now, would it start like a diesel that's going to have a heavier draw? It will, because the diesel cars usually have a bigger battery, so they're going to have more overhead than a typical small car like a Honda might. So if you go with something like our 60 amp hour lithium, you're going to have that reserve capacity that equals what a diesel would need in current to start it. That's awesome. Now you have them in all of the um, the different size batteries for all the different, just a direct bolt in application, correct? Yeah, it's it's absolutely all the sizes that are group 24, all the H series by batteries that are H6, H7, H8, all the batteries for sports, sports cars and stuff like that. So we have them in all OEM, OEM sizes. That's great. And this is just straight lithium technology that you guys are working with. It's not uh, lead acid? No, it's no lead acid. We only do, we're anti-gravity batteries. The name means lightweight, so it's taken from the lithium, the fact that it's 70% lighter than lead. So we uh, use that name and that's all we do is lithium. We do jump starters, we do deep cycle batteries, we do uh, power stations, and we do our automotive jump starters. I mean, automotive restart batteries that have that built-in wireless feature. God, that is so cool. Now, let me ask you this. What would be the weight difference on an average battery going from lead acid to over to a lithium, one of your ba starter batteries? Sure. For example, it's roughly 70%, but in terms of a real battery, a Group 48, also known as an H6 battery, it's 35 pounds. And that H6 is found in from Corvettes to uh, uh, Porsche Cayennes and stuff like that. So you're seeing about a 30, 35 pound uh, weight reduction just in swapping out the battery. And it's a direct swap, so there's no special tooling needed, no uh, need for a different battery tray. It's just one for one. That is great. Tell you what, anything where you can make a really quick swap and gain a lot of weight difference and a lot of uh, variability with the battery, that's awesome. Yeah, it's, it's an awesome new technology. We've had this going about a year now and people are stunned by it. Just to be able to wirelessly start your car in case you left your lights on, anybody in your family can do it, whether it's your wife, your daughter. That's great. I know if you've ever switched out a battery, trying to lean over that sheet metal with the heavy battery is never fun. So having a lighter battery is way better. Yeah, yeah, it's incredible. It offers yeah, performance yeah. benefits from, uh, especially in sports cars, the bigger uh, RV type cars and Jeeps and stuff may not need that, that thing, but just changing the battery out, it makes it much more efficient and can increase gas mileage. Excellent. I know that uh, the, the lithium technology isn't normally used for a starter battery because of the heavy initial draw. How did you guys get over that, uh, that component? Actually, lithium is three times more powerful than a lead acid battery during that initial start draw. It has three times the ability to deliver a high current than a lead acid battery. So these batteries put out 1800 cranking amps and the similar lead acid battery will put out about 800. Oh wow, I had no idea. That's a crazy difference. It's like, you'll notice the start when you put a lithium battery and it's that much better. Wow, that's super impressive. All right, and you also have another battery you wanna talk about, correct? Yeah, it's the Deep Cycle. We've just introduced our Deep Cycle battery about six months ago. And what separates our Deep Cycle battery from some of the older Deep Cycle batteries is it has built-in Bluetooth, so you can monitor all features of the battery from discharge, state of charge, current in and out, watts in and out, all through your phone. And it also offers a... Uh, compatibility with uh, communication systems in the uh, RV systems. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah. And, and what uh, amperages do you offer those batteries in? Right now we have 100 amp hour and we're offering 200 and 300, but those are coming in in about a month. Excellent. And what are the price points roughly for the batteries? Sure, uh, the 100 amp hours are about $850. And going up from there, we have about 1300 for the 200 amp hour and 1700 for the 300 amp hour. 
That's great. The technology you guys are putting out is really, really impressive. And what we've done is we've incorporated the durability from our racing experience in off-road and on-street, and we've incorporated that into our deep cycle batteries so that they can handle this overlanding and off-roading. That's great. And where can people find you guys at? We're online at antigravitybatteries.com, and we have many distributors, dealers, retailers throughout the country. Excellent. Scott, thank you so much for your time. I appreciate right. it. Thank you for talking about All right, guys, we're here at the Ultimate 9 booth with Chris. And Chris, you guys have a brand new throttle control system out. What do you got? Well, it's not brand new. We've been uh, in business now for nine years. Nine years in Australia, four years here. Um, it's a little bit different to what is normally out in the market. Ours is ve uh, vehicle specific. So it's programmed to your vehicle, not a broad range of a generic sort of system. Excellent. And how does this compare to, say, like the Pedal Commander? Well, one's price point. We have a very good price point in the market. Um, again, uh, our programming is our own. Nobody else has our programming, so it stands us aside from everybody else. Uh, plus, you're talking to the owner right now here in the US. Um, and back home in Australia, when we do shows, you're talking to the owner in Australia. So not just some sales guy with no passion in the marketplace or anything like that. So, you know, we really get involved with our customers. Um, we make friends. I've got so many friends in the US, it's insane. Um, just by being very personable and our product just speaks for itself. Excellent. And the product itself, you, you're talking about the electronics of it. Now, is this solely throttle control or does this mess with, with shift points or anything like that also? No, it, it, it pretty much just looks after the throttle input. Um, but in saying that, it does help with shift points because it's getting a different input in the throttle. So it's not going to, sometimes it might shift hard because you're pushing your foot to the floor. Uh, but most of the time it smooths that, that uh, transmission change a little bit better than normal. Okay, great. And what does the actual installation look like on that? Uh, pretty quick. Uh, most vehicles are at probably two minutes. Um, as you can see on the board over there, it's pretty simple. It's plug and play. There's no tools needed. Um, like the guys in the Jeep, takes you three seconds. You're done. Especially on the JL. The JK guys complain a lot because it's really tight to get into. But apart from that, it's pretty quick. Excellent. Uh, quick, easy installs are always a plus. And what is the price point on this? You said it's very comparable. Yeah, uh, on the website, we're at 209. Uh, we do free shipping uh, all across the US. Uh, at the moment, we're about three to five days shipping, depending on where you are. We, we're based out of Georgia. Um, so right now, we ship with USPS. So it all depends where they're at. And lately, it's been pretty difficult. Yeah, I bet. And honestly, your your very your Georgia accent is very very thick. Oh yeah, it's I'm <laughs> I'm from the deep south, <laughs> <laughs> the deepest of deep south. <laughs> Excellent. And where can people find you guys at? Uh, we're at uh, ultimate9usa.com. Uh, we're on Instagram, Facebook. Uh, just look us up, and you'll see, you know, all the reviews online. Um, we're very big in the Jeep side of things, but because we haven't really grown in the overland, thanks to COVID. Uh, we, we, we come out really strong in two years ago and then COVID hit and now we're just trying to get back into it again. So yeah, that, that seems like the, a very big theme here at, at Expo. Yeah, COVID killed, killed a lot of uh, fun because we enjoy getting out, meeting new people and seeing the country. So it's, it's, been, it's been good that we're, we're back and we're up and going again. Well, I'm glad to see you out here, Chris. You guys got a really great product and it was great meeting you. Awesome. Thanks, Kelly. I'm here with Tyler at the Guzzle H2O booth, and Tyler, you guys have some really new technology when it comes to water filtration. What do you have? So the cool technology that unlocks the stuff we're doing is uh, LED-based UV purification, and so uh, LED UV is much more robust than the old-style um, glass uh, bulbs that used to be in UV systems, so um, we're able to have a compact uh, form factor system that filters and purifies water so uh, you can pull water out of natural sources or just make sure that uh, water coming out of your onboard tanks is um, clean and drinkable. Excellent. And what kind of microns are we looking at for water filtration? So the filters we use are uh, half micron carbon block filters. And then the UV component uh, inactivates 99.99% of bacteria, protozoa, and viruses. Okay, so that'll get out most of like the giardia and the most th common things you find in water. Definitely, yeah. Uh, gets anything in the water that's going to make you sick. 
Excellent. And I'm looking at the system behind us here, and it's a really, really nice small form factor. How did you guys make that all work? Well, we went through a bunch of iterations to you know get it down, but we're you know using the again the LED technology allows for lower power consumption, and then UV allows us to use smaller filters because we don't need to get the viruses and the um, protozoa with the filtration only. So between those you know two or three things, uh, and then some creative you know selecting components and you know, system architecture, we're able to pack it all into a case and, you know, make some smart choices about, you know, what what uh, components to include and what not to include, so. So you said lithium batteries. Now, is there a battery pack in this system? Yeah, definitely. So that's one of the um, important things uh, that makes our system easy to use is that it's got the battery on board. So you just take the whole case down to the water's edge and you're able to just operate it there without connecting it to you know your onboard 12 volt system while you're actually using it we're going to check out how the stream operates here so you're just going to throw your pre-filter into their uh, fresh water source like a lake or a river and then you're going to hook up your hoses so they're color coded so you got your orange hose goes to your orange connector and then your outlet hose uh, is colored blue so you hook that up this is our long 30-foot uh, outlet hose. And then at that point, you just press the button and it starts pumping water. And it pumps uh, three quarters of a gallon a minute. So that's filling up your 25-gallon tank in about 30 minutes. And then you just press the button to stop it again. It comes with a pressure regulator so you can actually hook it up to water that's coming out of a faucet so um, you can treat water at a campground or marina or a park or some place like that um, by just threading this onto the garden hose fitting yeah i've noticed a lot of people they have the just the cables that run to the battery or something like that and you end up having to trek 20 feet of cable out to a water source which is never fun right yeah so i mean our goal with all of our products is to you know, basically we say our competition is bottled water. So we need to make it as easy as bottled water. And so, you know, that means can you just walk over to the edge of the water and, you know, throw the intake pre-filter in the water and start, you know, pumping. And that's, that's as easy as it is. So, um, yeah, so the goal is to make stuff super convenient. And part of that is building the battery into it. Excellent. Yeah, it looks really, really small and compact. What is the price point on your product? So the stream retails for uh, eleven twenty-five, and you know what? It, you get what you pay for, right? You have amazing innovation, great technology. You're getting all of this stuff out of there, and it, there's a battery in there. So you, you you're gonna have to have, pay a little bit more premium price for yeah. that convenience, right? Yeah, we've. I mean, we've built it with the highest quality components we can get. I mean, we know people are taking these out in the backcountry, and it, you know, you're relying on a water supply, so you, you can't fail. So we've bought, you know, packed all the best, uh, highest quality components into it that we can find. So, so that, you know, makes it hard to keep the price point down, but um, we feel like we're delivering a lot of value with what we have put together. Excellent. And let me ask you this, a fairly clean water source, say Colorado Stream, and you're, you're out there for a couple weeks, what's the length you can get out of one filter? So if you're using, you know, relatively clean water, like, um, and that means you know clear water like you can see through it your filters should go um, people are getting you know six months of use out of the filter so they're rated for a thousand gallons or six months whatever comes first um, certainly the dirtier the water and the cloudier the more that's going to slow down um, your filter capacity so definitely you're looking for um, you know water you can see through uh, you know, the better the clarity, the less that's going to impact your filters. Um, and uh, so that's going to, you know, going to extend the life of those. Excellent. And what does a refill, uh, a recharge filter cost? So we sell the replacement filter cartridges for $18 and that's just for the carbon block component. Um, the LED UV is basically maintenance free. They're rated to go 10,000 hours. So that's something that you never have to um, replace. Oh, wow. That is really, really cool. And where can people find you guys at? So the best place to find us is at our website and learn more about our products is uh, guzzleh2o.com. All right, awesome. You guys got to check this out for sure. Thanks, Tyler. I appreciate it. Yeah, thanks. Good to talk to you guys. Thanks. 
All right, guys, we're here with Jake at Tough Stuff Overland. And Jake, you guys have some really killer new lights out. What do we have? Hi there. So we have two different light options here. Uh, over here, we have the halo light. That'll put out about 800 effective lumens. Over here, we have the lunar light, which will put out about 1,500 effective lumens. Um, each of them are solar powered and each of them offer different features. They have pod lights that are removable. Uh, each of them will charge your devices as sort of a phone bank would. And uh, this one over here, the halo light has a Bluetooth speaker as well. Oh wow, that's really cool. This, this halo light looks like a little UFO on shocks. <laughs> <laughs> it does, it does. The, if it did fall over, it wouldn't break. That's what those are for. Right. Okay, so does the halo light have the removable lights also? Absolutely. Each of them have their own pod lights that are removable with five different functions on each. Uh, one of them being a bug deterrent, a flying insect deterrent. Uh, they have magnets, they have hooks, so you can kind of hook it on your shirt, walk around camp, use it as you like. Uh, the lunar light also offers the same functions. Doesn't have the bug deterrent, but much brighter options, and they actually tie into each other. Uh, you can use them as a light bar if you'd like. You can use them in any configuration. That's awesome. And how many pods are on the Halo one here? Halo has three pods, uh, all removable, and the Bluetooth speaker is removable as well. Oh, right on. And I'm assuming when you plug the pods back in, it solar charges the battery pack inside the pod? Absolutely. Absolutely. They all charge through the solar on each. They all have an option to charge through your home outlet if you'd like as well. Excellent. Now, what kind of time or run time are we looking at like overnight of running these lights? You would have an entire night of full light, no issues at all. We've uh, tested these out extensively, haven't ran out of light. If you let it sit out during the day, you'll have plenty of power through your night. So the halo light looks more like an area light and the other one looks more like a floodlight. Is that true or is it just the way I'm looking at it? No, spot on. The, uh, this is 360 lighting on the halo. So that would sort of be in the center of your camp. When you venture off from camp, take one of those pods with you. It works as a flashlight, it works as an area light. Um, same concept over here, but you're directional on this guy. So it'd be great for a work light, an area light of sorts, but you don't have that 360 array with that one. Excellent. And what are the price points on these? This one, we're looking at 350 on the halo light, and over on the lunar, we're looking at 300. And each of them come with a molded hard case. Uh, one benefit to the lunar light, from the solar on top, you can see through the case here, it has a window. So if you have this mounted on your rack, it will charge while you're driving. It's direct through the window here. Wow, you guys have really thought of everything when it comes to these lights. <laughs> a lot of thought went into them, that's for sure. Right on. And you're actually the R&D guy for Tough Stuff, correct? Correct. I'm the product development coordinator. All right, Jake, so where can everyone find you guys at? We are at toughstuffoverland.com. Uh, same goes for Instagram as well. We're always active on there, and we will be dropping new products as well. You'll see a lot in the future. Excellent. I'm looking forward to it. I've, I've heard whispers of a new tent design, but we can't talk about it. Can't yeah, talk about it. So, wraps. yeah. Wraps. Awesome. Well, Jake, thank you so much for your time. I really appreciate Absolutely. it. Absolutely. Thank you, guys. Much appreciated. All right, guys. That was the absolute best new technology coming out of Overland Expo West here in Flagstaff, Arizona 2021. Yeah, there's some really cool stuff out there. Really no favorites because it's, it's all in different aspects um, of adventure and yeah, they're all really cool products. Yeah, they were all amazing. Uh, that's why we talked to those people because they were the absolute best in the industry. I'm really excited to see what is next in the future of overlanding because technology is definitely taking a front seat in the industry. Yeah, especially like that one wheel. That was some technology. That was, flew by. Yeah, you even barely even saw it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. Really hope you enjoyed that video. If you did, be sure to hit that like button. Be sure to subscribe. It does help the channel grow. And follow us on IG. It's a bunch of underscore. And we'll see you guys next time. Peace.